Now, there's one thing, you know, we, uh, we do have a feeling that when we talk about poetry from our area, it will be kind of all swath in mist and uh, clouds piling up over our heads and that kind of thing. That is very much there, the environment is such. But at the same time, I think, you know, it would be safe to say we also carry like the Brahmaputra, the deserts of Rajasthan, the whole Atlantic in my heart, the Pacific, East, West, you know, Peru, even Machu Picchu, who knows, all kinds of influences are there all the time. And I think this is the place where, you know, imagination really is greater sometimes than knowledge. So we have a chanting tradition I'll just read one a new poem. We have an oral tradition of chanting, like rhapsodies, because we're talking about songs from the Northeast, and these are uh, always done by the shaman priests. They're like medicine men, the healers who mend bones. And people in the rural parts of Arunachal Pradesh still prefer to go to them. When we needed someone, I cried for the shaman, seeking the words of generations to accompany us. Where are all the shamans? We needed someone to mend these bones, lift this arm, dress the shoulder, spine, collar with fine ornaments and place a spell under these feet to heal this heart and reclaim life and splendor. The strong black beetle is an uncle visiting on the back of the wind this rainy morning. No, words are not dead. Rustling through the trees, the shamans are in the garden. Their craft is not ended, recounting each weathered moment like beads in a long conversation to win mastery over time. We meet here every day, shamans, prayers, spirits. The bees bring me a message. This is for your protection. Remember and believe the truth about land, rainwater, sleep, the truth about love, eating flowers and thorns, the truth about life, eating flowers and thorns. Thank you.